Hello, peeps. Here's Tracy here, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher, coming to you with some information about the upcoming Christmas buffet. And I thought I'd give you, because I got a couple strange looks when I mentioned Christmas buffet, um, the how-to on how to do a Christmas buffet. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, I know how to do a Christmas buffet. Wear stretchy pants, don't eat anything the day before or the day of, and throw the diet out the window. And you would be correct. But what I'm referring to today is a Christmas card buffet. So, some similarities. We are going to have some snacks, but you might want to have a, you know, a meal or two before you come. Uh, we are going to um, have a variety of things, and it is up to you to pick how much or how little of each one you want. But in the end, you're going to have lovely cards that you can gift to family and friends. So, I've, sent, I've attached this poster. Uh, the one that's in the newsletter actually was after I realized... They needed numbers, so it's got a better number job on there, but waste not, want not on the paper. So these are the options that you have. And in general, I will prep enough that everybody who comes to the buffet could make two or three of each of these cards. If, and that's kind of how it's designed, right? Bigger variety, there's lots of different samples. If you really like one particular card, let's say you need a snowman, and you want to make ten of them, I just need you to mention that to me. That's, uh, it says it right in here, and it says it right on the RSVP link. Um, it asks you, is there any one card you want to make multiples of? It is no problem if you want to make four, six, eight, ten of something. I just need to know ahead of time so I make sure I prep enough of that card. Because uh, like I said, I usually prep about two or three per person. So what's going to happen when you come to a Christmas buffet? You're going to walk in the room, and yes, there will be a table with some snacks and treats, because that's how I roll. Our events are as much socializing and snacking as they are making crafts. So you know that that's always going to be there. There'll be a table at the front of the room that shows, or that has a couple uh, machines on them. One will be set up for die cutting, one will be set up for embossing. Uh, there might be a couple stamp sets that or that are used in more than one thing, or just to give you like options for sentiments. It'll be up at the front of the room because they're more just communal offerings. But mostly what you're going to see is eight of these bins, um, and it's a little hard to show you from an overhead view, but eight of these bins sitting on a table, and on top of each one of them, there's going to be a card tented like this, so you can see what it is. So you're going to walk around, you're going to look at what's out there, and you're going to decide how much you want. Um, I'll give you an idea, before we get started on the what's in the bin, I will give you an idea of your card options for this particular buffet. So the first one that we showed you, I like to give them fun names, this one's called Simple Santa, and I absolutely love this card, and this card for me, you know, you're giving it to, you know, some of the guys in your life, teenagers in your life, or, or me, who just likes a really cool, simple card. There you go. Simple Santa. Uh, this one, pretty forest. And don't be intimidate, intimidated by like the, the details on here, because it will all be prepped and waiting in the bin for you to put together. Uh, this card, we have a couple options on. It's called Peekaboo Christmas, and it's designed to go with like a little snowman coming through here. Now I do have, and I'll try to angle them so you can see, this one has kind of like a, an animated house, a snowflake, and kind of mountains and snowflakes. The, so you have different embossing folder options, and just because I like to have options. And then you'll notice that we have a snowman in one, and then we have a couple forest animals in the other. You know me. I love me a good moose. So because I love you guys, I have cut an entire sheet of DSP, and by the time this event comes around, I might have cut a second one. It has a couple different fox images one of them is sleeping the deer or the moose the deer a bunny i think that's all um so these will be pre-cut just in case you want to put animals in there if not stamp yourself a snowman so we have that one this is our spruced up card love how bold and bright and fun this card is uh, sweet gingerbread now and i could say this is a kind of a childlike card or it's a tracy like card because i do love this card and i do love gingerbread uh, hankering back to my forestry roots. Can you see the dimension on there? There we go. This is our forestry snowman. Totally love it. Thank you to a demonstrator in the Netherlands whose name has just left my head, who made a tall, thin version of this card. I guess I don't do anything tall and thin. So this is, I, I scaled it down to our standard card size and absolutely adore this card. Uh, this card's called Naughty Puppy and is a uh, premonition, I think, of what our Christmas with our 10-month-old puppy is going to look like. And it does have a cute little uh, honey 
um, dog's egg on it, but you can switch it out and put just a regular Christmas one on if you want. And then this is Dickens' Christmas, which is more, I guess, kind of classic and all of a sudden my camera's out of focus, but you get the idea. Oh, there we go. A more classic looking greenery card. So there's your card. You have a wide variety. So as you decide, you're like, ooh, I'm going to make these will work for this person, this will work for this person, I'm going to make this many of this. So what you do is you go grab your first bin. So we're going to go grab the simple Santa bin. So I'm going to take my card off and I'm going to set it over here because that's what I'm going to use to know what I'm doing. So when I open the bin, what I'm going to find in the bin is whatever stamp sets, dies, embossing folders that I needed for this card. In this case, this is the, one of the most amazing stamp sets. Um, season's greeting, happy holidays to you and yours. Uh, this one would fit, it would just be very small in the middle. Uh, a whole bunch of these different sentiments are going to fit on this card. But this is the what stamps that I use for sentiments. Um, I'm putting the dies in, just in case. And then, this is a retired stamp set, but I added it in because of this cute little Santa hat in it. And as you know, I like to stamp on the envelope, on the screen, and I like to stamp on the inside of the card. So if it doesn't have a coordinating one, because this one is actually not a Christmas set, this is actually just called the Rugged Icon dies, and as you can see by the dies, they're very cool. But it didn't have a stamp set that went with it, that went with a Christmas card, so I just found one to work for. So I'm going to make two of these cards, let's say. So I'm going to grab two envelopes, and I'm going to grab, oh look at that, conveniently enough, two beards that I have die cut for you. Um, if In this case, the beards are all white. If, um, I was, like for the card that makes the trees, you have three different colors of trees and three different sizes of trees. So I will have a pr bunch pre-cut, but I will also have strips, and sometimes I just have extras in. So cardstock strips, which have, you can't quite tell in the video, but they have the adhesive backing on them already, so they're basically big stickers. Um, just so that you can pick and choose if you want the bigger tree to be the lighter color or the darker color, whatever. In this case, I'll just have a whole bunch of beards pre-cut for you. I'm going to grab a couple of these red pieces. There you go, and I can see the beards again. And I'm going to grab a couple of these, actually I probably only need one of these. Uh, I'm trying to do this left-handed all of a sudden, it's not working. A strip of paper to put the sentiment on. I'm going to grab two of these black strips. And if I can coordinate myself, I'm going to grab two card bases. Okay, so I have everything I need. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stamp my, my sentiment, and I'm going to assemble this card. Now I'm in the room, I'm right there. If there's any questions, you just holler, I come help you. But for the most part, everything you need is in the card. You've got the sample to go with. So you've made your two cards, set those off to the side, put everything back in the box. This one, um, I took the blocks out because I was working on something else, but there would be blocks in the box as well. The ink is in the box, the papers, everything you need is in here. You put everything back in, you put the sample card back on, you keep your cards off to the side, you take the bin back. You go grab another bin, make your next cards. When we're all done, you go to the checkout at the buffet, <laughs> just like you would, and we look at how many cards you made. It's $25 for the first six cards, which includes basically the room, the cards, the snacks, this, you know, and then each additional card after that is $3. So we'll just look at it and go, okay, you made nine cards. That's, uh, I'm going to do the math on there. I can't believe it. Nine cards. So that's six for the 25, three extra cards at three is nine, 25 and nine, $34. You now left with nine cards and you've had a lovely evening. This is what I'm hoping happens. So there you go. That's how I run a buffet and that's what I'm hoping you'll join me for. Uh, in the newsletter right below this picture is a link to RSVP. Please do so. And again, there's a note right in there, but let me know if there's any card you want to make multiples of so I can make sure we prep enough. Thanks everyone. Hope to see you in a few weeks.